Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron here from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. Um, in this video, I want to show you um, uh, that there's an application available with ICT Protégé systems that allows you to program card readers. Um, in the past, you know, we were uh, selling programming cards where you would badge once and then badge, let's say, five times to get to menu five and then two to, you know, uh, twice to uh, change option number two, for instance. Um, but this was, you know, I guess um, a bit more complicated. Now that the readers have Bluetooth uh, on most of the products that we sell, we have Bluetooth enabled. So we, we can now use our phone to push configuration settings to, to the card reader, okay? Um, also, you know, if you, uh, best example ever, if you want to switch from um, RS-45 to Wigan because you found out that the cabling on site only supports Wigan uh, type of uh, communication, um, you can easily uh, change those settings, you know, with, with the app on your phone, okay? There's a few requirements. I will explain this soon um, so that you can actually have access to this app, but it's free to use. We just need to have you added to the system and have a profile created for you, and then you can use your uh, phone to program card readers. And it's again, it's very, very useful. Um, you can do things like changing the lock LED color, so when, it's, uh, when the door is locked, it's gonna be red instead of blue, you know, and things like that. If you want to turn the LEDs off, we did this uh, on a few projects uh, or our grow up uh, facilities where inside the growing rooms, you know, you cannot have any kind of LED uh, show, you know, being turned on. Um, so in other words, we basically turn off the backlit, turn off the LED, and it's going to turn green only when you bash the card, all right? So otherwise the reader is kind of uh, hidden uh, in the dark, okay? So let's uh, start with um, the, you know, opening up the app, and then I will show you um, how you can get access to this app, and then how it works, okay? I'm going to give you two examples. One we will turn this blue LED to red, and the second example will do a default reset to put it back to normal as it is right now. Okay, so let's open the app and have a look. I opened the ICT uh, Prodigy Config app, so you can find it on the Google Store or, or the uh, Apple Store. So if I go from the beginning, all right, so um, the way it works is for you to be able to actually use the app, connect to a reader, and push some configuration changes, you need to have a config mobile credential. So this is separate to the actual mobile credentials that you can use to unlock doors, uh, you know, with the other uh, ICT app, which is the Prodigy mobile app. We're gonna review this in a separate video, but for now, we're basically focusing on the configuration app for installers, all right? So first thing, you need to contact the Inaccess support team uh, to give us your email address, and then we will request that your account is then um, assigned a mobile credential. So the next time you open the app, you create an account with the same email address. Then under the mobile credential page, you'll see, as it is now, you'll see that you have um, you know, a credential that is good for configuration. The Bluetooth proximity, uh, I usually leave it to far, so you can connect to multiple readers one after the other. Uh, if you want to make sure you're only programming one reader, you may want to reduce the range a bit, and then you put your phone close to the reader, um, but we'll see this in, in another step. So the first thing, you need to have a credential and a profile, otherwise the app will show empty, all right? So under the reader configuration, all right? Once you open the app, this is gonna be empty, obviously on my phone, I have different configurations that I'm using for testing or, or to support clients. Um, so let's say we want to change this, all right? So what you need to do, we need to basically add a TLV at the top, okay? Let's call it red test. All right, from the add TLV list, I'm gonna select the LED color setting, okay? Now, there is a list of index. I suggest that you uh, find the uh, PRT MOBIF, uh, basically the Protege Config App mobile um, manual on the ICT.co website. And basically this is gonna show all the different values you can change. In this example, I want to change the blue to red. So the index is 11, okay? So the color index, I'm gonna use 11, which basically is when the door is locked and closed, okay? Then I'm gonna go to, to red. And let's say this is what I want here, so let's save this, okay? You can also actually make a list of different TLVs in the same uh, reader configuration. So let's say if you wanna change the lock, you wanna change, uh, let's say, the, the output format for the pin and maybe the Wigan format for cards, you can make a list of different TLVs in the same profile, so when you push it, it will do everything at once, all right? There's one requirement. 
you need to basically do this within the first two minutes after the reader has been powered up. So basically, nobody can on a working site can go around and mess with reader configuration. You need to have access to the control room where the reader expanders is installed. You basically power down the reader, power up, and then you have two minutes to push the new configuration to it. Okay, so let's do this. Now I want to just quickly power down the system. On a real site, you would only power down the reader, not the whole thing, obviously. Um, now the reader is back up and running. I'm going to pick the test that we did earlier. Just tap on it. And then scan closes because that's the only Bluetooth reader I have here. OK, it's programmed. Now the reader will reboot. Red LED, OK? So that's basically how to change the LED color. Remember to look at the index depending on if you want to change the color when it's locked or unlocked and other you know, conditions, all right? Um, there's also another document that will help you change the LED color based on an area status. That's actually pretty cool. So you can make it, let's say, purple when it's armed and uh, green when it's disarmed, you know, things like that, all right? Now, what if I want to put my reader back to default, okay? So I have one of these templates here. So if I swipe left, I can click on the pen to change um, or, or view what's in it. So basically to re restore a reader to default condition or factory default status, I can basically go to uh, the device mode uh, TLV, all right? And then I select factory default EEPROM like that and save, okay? So maybe it's more than tw two minutes, uh, so I need to do another power cycle like that. And now my reader is up. Okay, I'm going to go to the default, scan closest, and done. Just need to wait for a reboot. Now it's back to blue, and the reader is functioning now normally. All right, so basically this was just two examples of different configurations that we can make, but as I said, sometimes if you're using ICT readers on third-party systems, uh, or uh, even sometimes we create some... Uh, Custom profiles for clients will give you an X code to put it in the app, and then the system will push the settings. Let's say a special uh, descramble mode for uh, a specific brand of cards. Okay, so so in other words, this was how to use the ICT Prodigy Config app to change reader settings. I hope you liked the video. Remember, Inaxis is the proud Canadian distributor of ICT products. Okay, if you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Please like the video or all the videos and send us messages. We always reply very quickly and we appreciate the support and the feedback. All right, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis, thanks for watching.